the programme came about last year when one of the players came up with an idea for a reading programme, but we discovered we didn't have any literature to read. So we decided to create two stories using our Finn McCool character, a junior version. And it's basically about his adventures that he has with his friends Molly and Connor. There's a message about um, healthy eating and another message about diversity. So what we do is we take Key Stage 1 children from 40 schools right across the province and basically take them through the programme. This year the programme is sponsored by Tesco, so because of them we've been able to bring it out to 40 children. It involves the players coming and reading to the children, then taking them through a puppet making session and finally finishing off with a quiz. And courtesy of Tesco too, the kids all get to come along to a Giants game free of charge. It's a really exciting programme. We are in Oakwood Special School. Um, basically we took the reading programme into this school and we delivered the session to them. So that pretty much involved um, introducing the players and they read the story to the kids. Uh, we came out to this school to read books to children and make puppets. Uh, they received it really well. I think they enjoyed it and they listened to the story and took the morals out of it. What I did along with Samantha was to develop um, just to make it more into a programme, so we made puppets to make it interactive regarding the characters with the characters of the storybook and then also a PowerPoint quiz to go along with it just to reinforce the learning. The story was fantastic, it was easy to follow, the kids loved it and then after the story was over they made their puppets. I want a lollipop, said Finn Jr. boldly. I said, no Finn Jr. Lollipops are treat foods and treats are not for breakfast. I was getting cross now. If I can't have a lollipop, then I don't want anything, replied Finn Jr. as his tummy quietly growled. Find them Finn Jr. Don't have any breakfast. But you will soon realize that it is a big mistake. You won't grow big and strong and you won't be able to run or think as fast as normal. A little while later, Finn Jr. came back. Finn Jr. walked up to Molly and her puppy. Hi Molly, I had pancakes and porridge with a giant glass of orange juice, he said. My tummy is full and my body and mind are wide awake now. I even have a name for your puppy. Let's call her Lollipop. Lollipop loved her new name, and Finn Jr. never left the house again without breakfast in his tummy. Every school gets left with books and also online resources so that the children can actually go on afterwards, do puzzles and quizzes and continue with their experience with the Giants way beyond the actual reading programme itself. Yeah.